Hello, all you gorgeous people of the world. Chelsea G here, and maybe I'll find an intro that sticks. I think I've said something different on like every episode I've done so far. Anyways, um, I'm playing Paper Mario. If you guys haven't figured it out, if you're just tuning in, we're doing a light walkthrough of the game. We just finished playing uh, as Princess Peach, who met Tweak. So right now we're just heading off of the star shooting star summit back to the tote town. Whoa! Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, too sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's you're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars, I found you. That's good. After bonking me in the head, how do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes. Here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. I right, gladly will. The lucky star lets me use the action command, which is awesome. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what it is? I already know what it is, but I will go into this uh, battle just to uh, show you. Yeah. Me? My name's Goombario. Of course I'll help. So, we're gonna go into a little battle. Um, action command is... Twink will explain it, but it's where um, we kind of well, we can either jump or hammer, but like, jump, so far, all I've been doing, I've just been pressing A to jump and A to pick my enemy, and it just does the rest for me. Now, with the action command, if I press A right before I jump on somebody, it'll do double damage. So instead of, I'll do one, and then I'll do one more on top of him. And the same for like the hammer. So this is why I haven't been doing the hammer. So we do two that way. And like how Twink explained, you do the nice. Or it nice pops up if you do it correctly. The good thing about it is that you can also block attacks from enemies if you press A at the right time when they're above your head. So Gumbario, who usually only does one, if I block it, it won't do anything. So if an enemy usually does two, if I block it, they'll only do one. So this helps out a lot, um, especially against big enemies that do a lot of damage. And you can put badges on that if you do the action command correctly, it'll reduce even less damage for you. Now, with the hammer, before I was just pressing the hammer button and it does its own thing. I'll probably use the hammer more now because it says, you know, push your control stick to the left and release it when the big star lights up. So we have little ones, and then when that big star lights up, that's when I let go, and it'll do double. So I like, I'll use the hammer for that because it's easy to get the action command on the hammer. So, uh... I guess let's practice some um, with it so I can show y'all without him stopping me constantly. No. Oh. For some reason, like, you know, sometimes uh, I'll go too early on it, but we will figure it out as we continue on with our journey. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! You'll be much tougher in battle now! Uh oh. Here you are! Oh, it's just a regular Koopa. They'll get the same voice. What? It can't be! Were you following me? Oh, twink. What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeated Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Cammy Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. Mario, you keep falling, man. 
So the good thing about action command is I can give it to my partners as well. So they can do the action command too. So, especially for not physical attacks like those, it takes me a while to get the swing of things. Sometimes I never do, but there will probably be lots of yelling like, you suck at using action command. I do. La -la -la -la, 15 star points! Well done, Mario! You're as strong as they say! I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser! Thanks for the, you know, encouraging words, Twink. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but I can at least tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later! Bye, Twink. Thanks for giving me the action command. What? Oh, you're back already. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. She had a message. Oh, tell me. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're there, Tweak. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. Bye, I guess for real now, Tweak. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. So, off we go again. I wonder if those mysterious toads are still there. Uh-oh. Oh, Mario! Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with a spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him in his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Well, I tried to go in there earlier, but he didn't want me to. Uh, let's... Go fill up our HP first. Ah, there's toads still are there. Hello, Mario. The Toad House's slogan is, Refresh your body and soul. Would you like to take a nap? Sure thing. What I always think is cute, you get all these huge blankets, but you don't get a pillow. <laughs> so. I just found that funny always. That they never give you a pillow. I mean, he's a piece of paper, so I guess you don't really need one. Okay, hopefully Merlin will let me in. Merlin is out! Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you he's out! No! What the? Why is someone sleeping in the front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Thanks for knocking me over. Oh, maybe? No. Yes, it must be! Oh, Mario! Yeah, huh? I've been waiting for you. You should you should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. I tried to come here earlier. You wouldn't let me in. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But, before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared, and I, standing face to face, then the far away, the pious was raised me up. It was amazing. As you can tell, he is talking a lot. I was still so young then. I believed in, but our hearts were. And then, so...
Oh no, Mario fell asleep. I would have too. Look at all that talking he's doing. It's a very long story indeed, like you said. And that is all that matters. Huh. Hey! Mario, were you listening to me? Mario just lying away. <laughs> oh, alright. So, anyway, that is why I am able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. So Merlin is also one. He's kind of like the little advice one that shows us our way. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly and as humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Thanks, Merlin, for telling me where to go. I think those mysterious toads are blocking the path. Maybe they'll move if I talk to them. Hey, you don't want to go out there. It's a way too dangerous. Going to the Koopa Bros fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely. Definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. So, told me not to go ask Merlin for help, so that means I definitely should go ask Merlin for help. Yo, Merlin, my man. Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town. That shouldn't be. It's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Merlin, booking it. I don't think it would do me any good, so let's leave it, Goombario. Don't think such thoughts. Are these the strange toads you were talking about? Oh, I guess I gotta talk to them. I told you, you can't pass. Take off. Ooh, you aren't toads, are you? Uh, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. To reveal your true selves. Holy crap! Gag! <laughs> just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. Wow, how'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black. Yellow. Green. We retreat. But now... Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. So, Merlin let me know about a blue-shelled Koopa. So it looks like I might be getting another partner soon. <gasps> Chapter 1, Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. We have some time left, so we will go ahead and keep on going. Oh man. Koopa Troopas are faster than Goombas. The good thing he's stuck on his back, so he couldn't attack me. Come here, winged Koopa. I mean, sorry, winged Goomba. Oh, I can't do action command on first strike, but 
I can do them on regular attacks. Well, kills me. Four star points. So, the only bad thing about and why I'll probably end up having to skip is that anytime you come back to this road, um, all the enemies return. Which is why I'll probably either run past them or, you know, skip the fights altogether. I hope the song isn't bothering you guys, but at the same time, oh well. <laughs> Dizzy attack badge. Right jar. Maybe some of you guys will even sing along with me. <laughs> And a pal block. Aha! There we go. Sorry if you can hear me clicking away on my controller. It's very old and very loud because of that. So, a good strategy with Koopas is to, you know, try and knock as many down as possible. So, really? So that way you have, uh, less enemies that you have to worry about the fighting you, so. See, they both can't get up, so it just kind of gives me free reign. Mario! Just gives me free reign to attack him. I don't know what's up with Mario and me doing action command for him. But it is sucking. Four star points! Hmm. Can't get across there. Another button to press. I see you up there, bad guy, but I will attack it anyways. Oh man. Tried to get in there quickly. Mario keeps falling. Now. Uh, I'll go ahead and use the POW block on these guys to get rid of them quickly. Four star points! You're killing me, Mario. You're killing me. So see, I switched, so... Goombario could go ahead and take that guy out because I can only hammer on the first enemy in the way. So this way Goombario doesn't get hurt and I can take both of them out in the same turn. It's called strategy, you guys. I'm a pro. Anything down here? I can't reach that just yet. That was cheap. You should have given that to me. So the good thing about Action Command is that it does show up in the left corner when you should press A, but it just kind of ends up being habit after you know playing it for a while too. There we go. Finally. So it's easier for me to block like physical attacks than the magical ones. I don't want to hurt Gumbario. Only because, like, he wouldn't attack him and it would just hurt him. Six star points! So I still wouldn't get anything done in that turn, anyways. Aha! Uh -huh. Solid one. Two 
Toad Town is to the left, Koopa Bros Fortress is to the right, and Koopa Village is to the south. He's following me. Here's a little trick. He gives out some hearts. You didn't know. Can I not get to that? Oh man. But I can get to these. Ooh. Attack FX B badge. So this just changes the sound effects, but I like all the sound effects in this game. Uh, but I think this is a good place to stop for now. So in the next episode, we will head into Koopa Village and try to find that blue shell Koopa. So I will see all you guys then. Bye!